Hi, today we're going to talk about how you should build your first home theater system if you're on a budget. Now, the wonderful thing about the consumer electronics industry today versus 15 or 20 years ago is that things like amplifier power are not expensive, not anywhere near as expensive as they used to be. Home theater receivers that have multi-channel amplifiers tons of features, some even have streaming capability built into them, are very inexpensive. You can often find a decent home theater receiver with good power for $200 to $300. There's no need to spend $1,000, particularly if you're on a budget and you're building that first system. Now, I know home theater to most people means multi-channel, sound from coming all over the room, surround channel, subwoofer, center channel, all of these different components. However, if you don't have a system connected to your television set right now, you can start off with a single pair of speakers, assuming that you buy the right piece of electronics to go with them, and then add the extra speakers later as your budget allows. Now, I mentioned earlier these home theater receivers good quality, inexpensive, are very widely available. What you want to make sure is that you buy one that's got multi-channel capability, and most of them do these days. It's actually rare to find a stereo receiver. So as long as you get that down, and I would say for that initial system budget where you're going to have one pair of speakers and that receiver, cutting the budget somewhere in half or you know, 60% to the speakers and 40% to the receiver is a good place to start. Now, speakers, you can always start off with a small pair of bookshelf speakers like these, even if you've got a fairly large room and you're going to be upgrading eventually. Because those speakers, if you buy them today and use just that pair with your television set and the receiver that you purchase, will give you much better sound than what's available from the television set. And you can repurpose them later when you upgrade to bigger front speakers and use them as, let's say, the rear speakers, height channels, side channels. If you've gone and looked at the specs of what home theater is, it's not just five channels or seven channels anymore. It can be 10, 11, 12 channels. So your money's not gonna be going to waste if you, if you step up and think about upgrading as you go and as your budget allows. Obviously for full home theater at some point you're going to want to add a center channel, dedicated surround speakers like this one, and probably a subwoofer for those low frequency effects. Again the nice thing is is that you can start off with something that's going to sound incredible, way way better than your television speakers, and slowly add and build the system and along the way, you'll get more knowledgeable about the features of your receiver and what kind of speakers you might want to upgrade as you add to the system. So there's a couple of tips to help you with putting your first home theater system together on a budget. Thank you for watching.